Hi everyone, this is Kelsey with Beyond Labs. In this video, I just want to do a quick start video for working with the Beyond Labs client. So after you've downloaded the software from our website and you open it, it will open this window, which is the client. The client has four different tabs. The first one is Labs, the second is Worksheets, the third is License, and the final is Settings. Let's go over the Labs first. The lab tab will show you the five different lab modules. If you have yet to download one or more of the modules, this icon here will say download rather than open. And after you've downloaded it, it will change the icon to open. And clicking on it will take you directly into the lab module. Underneath each of the lab module names, it will say the setting that each module is set to. And we'll cover how to change that in a second under the settings tab. But you can see here that the chemistry module is set to higher education and so forth. Looking down, we have a couple of them set to high school and a few others set to higher education. Now the worksheets tab. The worksheets tab is organized in a similar way. You have the lab, different lab modules split. All Worksheets available for all levels are available in each of these menus. So you can see the chemistry one shows that you're going to be able to see both the high school and the higher education level worksheets. And by clicking in, you can go specifically into the education level, and then you have the different categories that are corresponding to the categories seen in the main menu of each of the lab modules. And going into one of those will take you specifically into a worksheet list. And then by clicking on one of them, for example, this precipitation reactions, it will open the PDF of the worksheet associated with uh, experiment 2-4, precipitation reactions. So that is the worksheets tab. The license tab has a spot for you to enter your activation code. If you purchase access from our website, you will be emailed separately an activation code. If you have purchased access to the software on our website and you have not seen that email, please check your spam folder. The email should have come from ludwig at beyondlabs.com. If you, your school has purchased access for you as a student, your instructor or TA should provide you with an activation code to use the software. You'll put the activation code here and then submit it, and then here at the bottom, once you've submitted it, the expiration date should change to reflect when your software is license is going to expire, which should be a year from the date that you enter the activation code. Finally, we have the settings tab. This here, as I mentioned before, is where you can change the level at which the different lab modules open up. So, for example, we have our chemistry lab module, both of them, organic and general, set to higher education. So when we open, say, the organic chemistry lab module, all of the worksheet presets that will be shown in the main menu will be the higher education ones. If you or the student, whoever is running the software, changes this to high school, it will reflect that under the labs tab, and when you open one of the specific lab modules, the worksheet presets will correspond to the high school level worksheets. The final thing I want to cover is in order to exit the Beyond Labs client, you click on this little door with the arrow coming out of it, and that will allow you to close the client and quit it.